up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt if you're new here welcome I'm Brittany and today I'm just getting a little practice in I had a little free time in my schedule and I really been wanting to try out these braider rings or braider nails I have seen them all over social media for the past couple of years between YouTube TikTok Instagram they're everywhere um, but I just came across them in the store and watching them in videos and stuff like that I see different people talk about them or use them But I never like wanted them so bad to where I just had to go order them or find out how to get them When I walked past them in the hair store the other day, I said hey This might be my sign to go ahead and try these out from what I heard They help with precision as far as getting your parts neater and cleaner and they also help with convenience with certain styles where you have to pick up the comb a lot. It says it's for parting and sectioning. So I'm gonna try them out. If I do end up liking these and I find that they are helping with my precision and they are convenient throughout doing her hair without having to pick up the comb as much, I will try to incorporate them on a live client, like starting to work them into my braid routine. But I didn't want to try something like this that may slow down time because I'm practicing. I don't know how they work just yet. So I'm going to try a few different things on mahogany. It's not going to be like one uniform style because I want to try different tricks and different things with the claws and then come back at the end of the video and tell you how I actually like them, what I think about them, if you should order them, if they help me, if I see any ways that they could help um with the whole braid game so we'll see but btl they coming out with all of the things first i'm removing the rings from their packaging and i take out two it comes with three but i just put one on each hand so i'm taking those out and i immediately notice that the rings are too small for my fingers so i try to adjust them and open them but the rings are some type of metal material i would suggest if you purchase these to get like the plastic version because they do have those but the btl rings are like a metal material they do open you just have to fight with them for a second so i finally got it on and they're comfortable just hard to open so first i go ahead and use the rings to section out the first section for the braid and technique that i'll be trying first which is a feed-in braid and the part came out very clean i was very pleased i took out some purple hair it's like a black to purple ombre like a lavender color put a few pieces of that because i'm gonna feed that in towards the end of the braid whatever i decide to do i just went ahead and put some pieces on the rack so it's already taken out the pack i put some product on my braid band and I'm just taking a comb to smooth it out. That's one thing you're still gonna need your comb for. Y'all know parting mannequin hair ain't for the weak. It's just not. Their hair is a lot different from ours, especially us natural women. While I'm still digging in a bowl and I got wax on the back of my hand. Now I'm starting the feed in braid and you'll see me struggling a little bit in the beginning because the claws are very long. So I'm just trying to figure out how to get in there to smooth the hair out and create the stitching as I'm feeding the hair in. The claws do create very clean parts and they come out very neat. You just have to figure out how to maneuver with them. This is definitely something that would take practice. So I'm glad I started today in my downtime, just going ahead and getting comfortable with them. I'm not practicing a defined stitch because I realized that stitch braiding on a mannequin head is just way too difficult i don't know if it's just me or anybody else has this issue but um part of mahogany's hair is just tough trying to get it super neat so what i'm doing is i'm just using the braider nail to section small pieces to make it look smooth but it's not as per precise and the stitching isn't really tiny or really small as it would be on a human head the um, claw is very rounded it's a stiletto shape but it's not as pointy or as sharp as a rat tail comb would be so i'm noticing as i'm parting and trying to get the stitching done it's just not coming out as precise so that's my first initial um observation when trying to braid it in but i think it's just going to take practice this is my very first attempt at using a braider nail so i think over time or as i work my way to the other side of her head it might get easier for me to part smaller sections but right now um this rounded tip is really like mm, it's not given
Another thing that I want to add is the actual stilettos that I got are super long. They did have other lengths in the store. I'm thinking the longer the nail, for some reason, the sharper it would be. And that's not the case. The longer nail is getting in the way. Um, they do sell, like I said, shorter ones in the store. And I've seen them on Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below. But make sure you get a shorter claw because these long ones, like it's the length of my finger. As I'm bending and trying to get in the braid to feed hair in. It's just getting in the way, like watch. I'm gonna try to put another purple piece on for y'all in real time. And when I go under, this hair is just clipping and getting in the way of what a, of the other thing. Oh, well, I'm down at her neck now. Just imagine me being further up and trying to move through the hair and this is getting in the way. Now that I'm down at her neck, it doesn't seem as bad, but I definitely have to be careful with my hand placement that I'm not um, messing up other hair. I think, I don't even think it's the roundness of the nail that's keep preventing me from doing a clean stitch. I think it is the length. So we have one braid in. My first technique was stitch braiding. And I give it a six out of 10 on stitching on a mannequin. I've seen it done before with the braided nails. Some people can do it. I don't know what the trick is. I think it's having the shorter claws but I give it a six out of 10 so far. The nails, like as far as whether or not I wanna use them, that's where I'm at with it on just doing a feed-in braid. So now let's try a heart. Let's try a design. Okay, so I'm gonna part out a section for a heart and y'all for my hearts, I just part a square. So I'm gonna part the square really quick. So I go horizontally and I'm gonna use the nails. I'm trying to use the nails to do all of the parting. So I'm gonna make a square right above the ear. Okay. And then we're gonna go down. Okay, this is my square and it came out clean clean square. We're going to tie this up. My next step when I'm making a heart is to go down vertically. So I part horizontally across, go down vertically for the square, and then now I'm going to split the square in half with the horizontal, I mean a vertical part. That came out almost clean. It almost came out clean. I didn't use any products. Her hair really needs to be washed because again, I just practiced another technique on her hair um, earlier this week and I just took it out for this video. And so it's not that clean. Now I have two sections and I'm gonna clip this section to the back. Then I'm gonna take this front section and I'm gonna do a small diagonal part, a small diagonal part right across the top of the square like so. And then I'm gonna put this bottom piece in a clip. And as I'm braiding, y'all, I want y'all to just see how this nail is getting in the way. It's like, it's too long. And when I go to braid and pull pieces in, I have to make sure I remember to fold my hand in so the nail doesn't catch the hair that I've braided and rake the hair that I'm braiding. Once I get to the top of the heart, I go ahead and put in a piece. So I'm gonna add a purple piece here. I go behind the hair, so you don't see where I added it in at. This is a pretty big piece. But these claws are super long. Not bad though. I actually do feel like, like I see where what people mean when they say they are convenient. I haven't had to pick up my comb one time for this heart. Every section I parted out for the heart, I used the nails. As I'm working on the heart braid, I realized that it was the perfect technique to try out with these nails. A heart braid, the design itself requires several parts within one braid, or I would say two because each side of the heart if you want to be technical. Um, but I tried not to pick up my comb at all and just use the braided nail. And the heart came out good. I'll take it. It's not perfectly symmetric, but it's decent. 
Then I go over to my next technique that I'm going to try, which is my zigzag braid. Because a zigzag braid also is a type of technique that requires a lot of parting throughout the braid. You have to part down horizontally each way for each angle that you go. And I really enjoyed doing a zigzag braid. I believe that this was my favorite technique with the nails because I enjoyed not having to pick up my comb one bit going each way. I normally would have to pick up a rat tail comb and the nail just came in handy. Well, I finished the zigzag braid. I did have zigzag and have just a traditional braid going down in the back. And doing a zigzag braid with these, I would give it a nine out of 10. With zigzagging, you have to part throughout the entire braid. Each braid, in between each braid, you know, you have to part out a section to go each way. The nails came in handy for that. I did the heart. I attempted to, to do a stitch. It ain't come out too good. And then I did a zigzag. I can't think of any other techniques. I would have liked to do two different other styles of braiding on these two. Uh, but I can't think of anything that would need a lot of parting where I would um, need these nails. I thought about doing a knotless braid or like an individual box braid. But I'm like, I wouldn't need the nails for that. So I think I'm going to sum the video up here. If anything else, I would probably just use these two sections to keep practicing my stitching with these to kind of get better at it. But I'm going to transfer. I'm probably going to go on Amazon now and try to like prime or overnight some shorter claws because I do like the idea of these and I would like to incorporate them into my braid routine. Mm -hmm. I just can't get with the stilettos on the stitcher, which I probably said 10 times already in this video. So yeah, that is my review on the braider nails or the braid rings as BTL calls them. Braider rings. Um, and that's pretty much it. What I will say is you're going to have to find a safe space to put them in. Right now, I'm going to keep them in this container that I keep my locking clamps with, what I do my retwist with. I'm going to put them in here with that because I can imagine that they're very easy to lose just like bobby pins or like these actual clips that I do my retwist with. If you don't have a good container to put them in, I can imagine that the um, nails will be easy to lose. So find a really good place to put them in, maybe like a Tupperware container, something small, um, and tuck them away. But yeah, I suggest that you get them. Um, my review would be that you should get them and try them out. I'm going to practice some more, and I'll follow up with y'all in later vlogs to let y'all know how I'm enjoying them or if I actually um, started using them on clients. So, yeah, that's my review. <laughs> my phone is vibrating off the hook. But if you enjoyed this type of video, just me practicing different techniques and using new tools in my downtime, let me know and I'll definitely film every time I practice something because I'm always working with this mannequin trying to learn new things or get better at certain things. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a comment down below or give this video a big thumbs up so I'll know that this is something that you all like to see. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Love you.